If you remember, it was former Senator Barbara Mikulski who used to tout the unity of Team Maryland, and she would be proud if she saw what played out, at least on camera, at the U.S. Capitol. The governor called it a very productive meeting with the members of Congress and the Senate. Hogan said they discussed shared priorities, the Chesapeake Bay, transportation issues like funding of the D.C. Metro, and health care costs. We really are Team Maryland, and while we might not always agree on every issue, we're all working hard uh, to try to get some important things done, and I want to thank all of them for their cooperation. Now, the Republican governor of Maryland, who was up for re-election, was asked to characterize his relationship with President Trump. That team concept didn't seem to apply there. I didn't support uh, President Trump, didn't endorse President Trump, and didn't vote for President Trump. Um, but we d have had a pretty good working relationship on things that are important to Maryland. Uh, we know most of the cabinet secretaries, and we've come together to get some things done. But I I'm not sure he's going to have much of an impact on, on uh, my election. Um, all, all the nine opponents I have in the Democratic primary, we all have that in common, that none of us voted for President Trump. And the primaries are in about two months. The general election is November 6th. Live in the newsroom, Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News. <laughs>